So, firstly, I'd like to just introduce Kieran, Andy, Ben, and Sam. So, they are from the military and they have come in to support us in ED. This is the busiest we have seen it all week. We've got 11 children in crisis, we've got four beds, no side rooms, and no observation beds. We knew that the NHS was going to be under significant pressure over winter. We have our normal winter pressures. We have health-seeking behaviour of the public, which makes them present at our front door. We have a backlog of care related to COVID. Um, and then we've had COVID itself creating pressure. So we are under continuous pressure. So I think this week in the Trust, we've got about 1,000 staff off, about 300 staff off with, with COVID or, or COVID-related sickness. We've got servicemen from the Army, Navy and, and the Air Force here with us. And some are trained medics and are able to help make sure that patients are being observed properly. Staffing of the last month, because the Omicron variant is um, excessively challenging. One day, I think we had off our rota six clinicians, which was, which was massive. The people I feel the most sorry for are the kind of F2 level doctors and those that haven't even known life before this. They, you know, they've practiced pandemic medicine their whole career so far. I've done every job in the last month. I've done every job down to cleaning, down to feeding, down to, you know, portering. I had to see, I had to see a psychologist through work um, last year, which is the first time I've ever had to um, sort of have any, um, any support like that. And that was because of work pressures. We've gone from probably having around 250 patients to six, 700 patients a week. And you know, we do have a social care shortage that is impacting things, a carer shortage. Nursing homes are closed because of COVID, so trying to get people out is harder. We've got the increase in mental health presentations, medically unexplained symptoms. We're kind of used to it now as well. I think that's, I think in some ways that's, What's more scary than anything, it is the new normal.